For many, a trip to the moon would be a dream come true. It turns out they can visit somewhere almost as good without ever leaving the planet. In order to train as much as possible before heading to the moon, NASA and their astronauts had to practice. They did this by recreating the surface of the moon in northern Arizona. The United States Geological Survey decided to build a model of one part of the lunar surface in an area accessible to present research centers. NASA and the United States Geological Survey joined forces by creating the Astrogeology Research Program. Its goal was to provide ostensible training for the future lunar mission. From July 28th to 31st in 1967, 47 craters were created with dynamite within a 500 square foot area. Each crater was between 5 and 40 feet deep. More craters were added in October and later a larger secondary field was built. The first to train in the area were Apollo 15 astronauts who tested their equipment and skills on the newly formed landscape. Apollo 15's primary mission was to examine the moon's geology. The last time the site was used for training was in 1972 by the crew of Apollo 17. Unfortunately, the craters are mere remnants of their former selves after years of wind damage and human use, particularly for ATVs and off-roaders.